we have the D.C. jail, which is the D.C. gulag. But now we have Nancy Pelosi's gazpacho police. Gazpacho police. Gazpacho police. All right, end of the week from our dystopian hellscape. How weird can it get? Gazpacho. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know there's a freedom convoy going on this week. According to Fox News, vaccine mandates are the worst thing ever, and it's time for a great awakening. We've spent the last few weeks telling you about the great awakening that's happening all across the country, and it looks like our freedom is contagious. To be fair, it's not as contagious as COVID. Let's not forget this whole thing is over vaccine mandates, man. I thought y'all liked mandates. Anyways, freedom is contagious and Fox is going to spread it like wildfire. American truckers announced they will begin a nationwide truck convoy in this country starting next month in protest against Joe Biden's vaccine mandates. Look, this is America and we will not be outdone. It's a peaceful protest. You know what's going to happen. All hell will break loose. That will be the government starting a fight. People may die. Uh, the manufactured outrage over COVID mandates is unbelievable. And how well it works, man, like is unbelievable as well. Just over a year ago, we watched Trump and his minions rile a crowd of a few thousand people up and go attack the Capitol. It was manufactured outrage that pushed them there, man. It was gaslighting. They were told specifically by Trump that the election was stolen, even though all evidence points to a free and fair election. And this situation is no different, man. The right has these people convinced that they are being oppressed by a vaccine mandate. The amount of stupidity here is unbelievable, and I don't think any of us have any idea how to stop it. 